In the last video we discussed that antigens are small identificators on pathogens which bind to antibodies at the epitope on the antigen and the paratope on the antibody. Antibodies, which are also known as immunoglobulins, are in turn secreted by B cells to neutralize pathogens. In a word, they act as a first line of defense for the body's immune system. They can do this by on one end connecting to the invading pathogen through its antigen and on the other end connecting to the various white blood cells that we possess. This is a single antibody called a monomer, but antibodies consisting of multiple individual antibodies also exist, such as pentamers or IgM and dimers or IgA. Let us zoom in on the structure of an antibody. In general, antibodies are Y-shaped molecules and contain a variable region, shortened as the Fab region. In addition, they also contain a constant region, shortened as the FC region. The variable or Fab region binds to molecules. The constant or FC region, on the other hand, determines what isotope or class the antibody in question belongs to. There are five classes of antibodies, IgM, IgG, IgD, IgE and IgA respectively. However, for our purposes we will only examine IgM and IgG closer. IgM, also denoted with the Greek letter mu, is the first antibody produced and expressed following exposure to an infectious agent. Its main task is to aid the immune response through agglutination, in other words, forming clots of antibody pathogen aggregates. Put even more simply, it sticks to the pathogen and to other antibodies, thereby slowing the whole complex down. IgG, which is sometimes denoted with the Greek letter gamma, is the main antibody found in the blood and is responsible for opsonization, that is to say, assisting phagocytosis, or put even more simply, it helps the phagocyte to eat the bacteria. In addition, it also aids the immune response through agglutination. But what are the other cells involved in defending the body from attack? In this video, we'll go through B cells as well as T cells and discover how they work together with antibodies in more detail. Until next time.